I'm good. I'm good exactly. I mean, I'm a bit jaded. Uh, so I'm I'm doing funny things with my hair. I'm jaded because it's like it seems like one present days, you know, long present days, and uh, um, so uh, my my soul is a little restless to work and everything. But at the same time, I know that this is so important because I've done so much work and uh, on myself for the past four months. So I can't take that for granted. Like it was. Uh, education for me uh, the last four months uh, but right now I just feel like it'll be nice if I got back to set and you know things like that yeah Adil sir you tell me how excited you are for everything that is happening around I mean the day before yesterday I was talking to Gautam sir and because of Rahgir the film that has uh, that is screening at the Shanghai Film Festival Shanghai International Film Festival and and Gautam sir was super were happy and uh, and he was just saying that you know how you like you know your performance was like so amazing and it was like adil ne ye kiya adil ne wo kiya itna difficult weather mein hum logo ne shoot kiya tha and you know i am so fortunate to have some actors like him and all of that and and this film also so both the films i guess are uh, streamed at the shanghai film festival if i'm not mistaken so how is it how you are taking all in <laughs> well it's it's happening i didn't do anything i don't can't take the credit because gautam da has done it prakash ji has done it the other film is uh, now being shown in south america's biggest film festival called nirvana in that one and two films uh, in new york film festival uh, saving chintu and lorni which is a khasi language film uh so uh, the, the directors writers they are the people where who should take the credit you know i'm just a component and i'm lucky to have directors like prakash ji and and gautam da who is a multiple national award winner and a master storyteller so uh i'm 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 just great feel, feeling grateful that uh, yeah hmm and shubho what's up man <laughs> yeah everything's good uh so so how how excited you are with the release and all tell me well i am very excited to be honest like as it is releasing on an ott platform everyone has access to it so i am very excited that almost everyone out there can see how we have performed and how we have you know given our best in this film and i'm a bit nervous too because it's the first to our film that i am doing so that's why i'm a bit nervous that what would be the response i would be getting out of <laughs> another thing which is very important the the, the 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 subject of the of the film which is which is uh, which has a question on the on the education system right and the way the way there is a there is a constant struggle that one section of the society and their children are constantly facing and here uh how one man who wants his uh, his son to 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 be educated and how he struggles and things you know revolving around it uh tell me how uh, the intention of the film is raising the right question or serving the purpose of it i guess it is one of the aspects that prakash ji has sort of focused on the economical aspect of education and uh, there are other huge issues which are which are related to uh, education what kind of education are we giving like for example i personally believe that india could become the leader of the entire world in terms of uh, education of human wealth education of humanities education which would be based on the the reservoir of knowledge and wisdom that indian ancient seers have you know gave gave us and which is which is there for everybody to take which is accessible for everybody and you don't have to be rich in order to access those wisdom in the in in countries like india i remember i being taught or said by a person who sells tea on the street on a highway i was motorcycling those days and he gave me the most vital education within uh, within almost 45 minutes so i was looking for i was traveling across the country on my motorbike and uh, 
So some people ask me, why are you traveling on a motorbike? You should put the motorcycle in the truck and you should travel, you know, that's the, why are you taking the trouble? So these people left and this person who I, I had been drinking tea from, he said, Wo log aapko nahi jante they don't know you. I said, no, they huh. don't know me. I'm from Assam. He, I, he says, uh, uh, no, I'm not saying that you're from Assam. I even didn't know, apart from the fact that you might ask me, why am I traveling? I'd have answered, I love traveling like this. But you would yeah. have, if you would have counter-questioned me, why do you love traveling like that? I wouldn't uh-huh. have been able to answer in an articulate way. But he, I asked him, why do you think I'm traveling like this? He said, when you are traveling in the motorcycle, in the open air, you meet with the sky, you meet with the sky, you talk with the sky, you talk with the sky, you talk with the sky, and as you talk with the sky, you talk with the sky, you talk with the sky, and as you talk with the sky, you talk with the sky, you talk with the sky. So this is coming out from a person who is not so-called educated. He is illiterate. So we have a bhandar of spiritual wisdom in the country. And that should be the focus of our education. Not only to make uh, the schools like factories will produce the you know, labor to run the country. But we can uh-uh. excel uh, as human race in India uh-huh. with, uh, with the kind of uh, values that world need the most now. Humanities, empathy, love, respect, harmony, all these things that we can actually offer to the world from the educationists like Sri Aurobindo or Sri Ramakrishnam Paramahansa Dev or you know, Nizamuddin Aulia or all these amazing great masters we have. Mahatma Gandhi. Right. Right. All those. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Right. No. No. You are. You. You are so right. Uh, uh, Priyanka, do you really think that you know we actually like you know somewhere that whole habit and practice of listening to the story from our grandparents used to be so much entertaining and educational at the same time, which has like you know which is kind of you know does not exist anymore in our practice. Kind of. Uh, something that needs to bring back the, the practice of listening to story and the storytelling. Do you think that kind of educates us much more? You know, the thing is, I feel like, uh, I mean, only my experience, like my parents' generation was really like, uh, you know, the generation which really lost a sense of uh, something because I feel like India changed uh, you know, uh, drastically, you know, so uh, our parents suddenly saw like McDonald's and, you know, stuff like that. And uh, huh, so huh. A, a lot like uh, changed. Uh, so uh, uh, it was very directionless, but there, uh, you know, the, the narrative of from where my parents come from, the, uh, the huh. spirituality and the intellectuality of uh, life really dis- displaced itself and and uh, th- that's where my perspective is and whereas my grandparents i i go back huh. to you know because i'm you know when um, the, and that's my route because i really need to know where i come from and everything so with my grandparents the stories were more tribal uh, the stories were more uh, progressive of um, you you know uh, the uh, uh, the politics or even the integration of like you know a community uh, building or anything was just so so much simpler but way more progressive than what uh, my parents generation did with it uh, you know because india india just like completely like took a 360 degree uh, uh, turn with uh, so we they lost a lot of like that and then we my generation is kind of trying to rectify it for the future because the future will need will depend on in a, you know the this kind of a spiritual a more uh, uh, you know we are talking about inclusivity yeah you know we're talking yeah. about integrating we're talking about accessing uh, like as i said the spiritual knowledge uh, right now who yeah. are the who are the people who are working most uh, yoga practitioners um, the meditators, the healers, you know, they, you know, so we have to go back to that. There is no other way. That route. So, um, that route. So, yeah. so, yeah, so it's like uh, I'm now going back to what my grandparents actually taught me. Every, every little household thing that can cure me of uh, a lot of disease, um, uh, ah. meditation or uh, you know, haldi and gold, you know, things like that, that my uh, grandmother used to grow in her backyard you know 
and uh, yeah, so yeah. correct so it's all no, correct. it's all there it's all there harelu cheez hai yeah 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 uh shubham hello <laughs> he was like you know listening to us constantly is like bro what's happening i also exist <laughs> ट्रू <laughs> 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 That our parents' generation was kind of lost in that transition of globalization. On the other hand, our generation, we are like you know, we are born with everything in the sense of like mobile phone and internet connection and MACD and all that yeah. things, right? Yeah. Uh, so tell me, uh, after doing this film, is there any anything that you have learned to look at differently, which otherwise you are you are thinking like? thinking in a certain manner in a in a regular way that that because of the film and the journey that you have been through you have got a chance to look at it differently wait my neck is having what as film and stuff is that never judge anybody on the basis of their origin you know because everybody whoever is on a post or whoever is on a specific you know place or position they have their own journey and their own story that they have come that far and just when somebody is like when you introduce someone and someone asks where are you from if i tell them from if i tell them i am from bihar the first you know impact they have the first you know thing they guess about me is that bihar is known for cheating in exams so i must have some kind of thing related to that so the first thing which this movie has taught me about or anyone who will watch this movie will learn is that never judge a person from where they from their origin because a place or a small thing about that place does not define the person's character so so this is also i uh... i would like to know because uh, as i'm i'm going back to where i started the conversation from is of the fact that the film has uh, this film has also screened at the shanghai film festival right uh, and and uh, you know we all know that you know there is a there is a problem that is going on between two countries on the other hand this is the first film festival that has happened that is happening over there which is a uh, like you know physical film festival which is happening because most of the major international film festival has gone virtual uh, how do you look at this whole thing of uh, on one hand there is a uh, conflict uh, at the border and on the other hand people are coming and sitting and watching films together why well, conf- conflict on border is uh, political and uh, very very territorial and art is universal i think art always should cross boundaries build bridges and not burn bridges art will finally help to bring countries people together societies together and countries together and continents together that's the role of art and i think that we should even encourage that artistic uh, collaboration and activities should continue in spite of the fact that sometimes we might have certain uh, conflicts of other nature between two countries three countries and all that but art uh, must be practiced in order to build the bridges or rebuild the bridges between the people do we want to live in conflict all our lives nobody wants to do that unless you want to do that and you have made a business out of the conflict that lot of countries they practice it i know it i have read about it i have read thesis about it i have read books on that that war is a industry and the industry continues because certain war mongers would like to continue the war and our job as human beings are as practitioner of art has to do the opposite that we should bring and uh, usher a harmony 
between people and between countries.